Kelly, what's going on? Hey, Tam. How's it going? I am well. Again, thank you so much for doing the test or, you know, sharing your thoughts about the program. Um, okay. I, I wanted to ask you specifically because you are one of the most active people in the community, You're the most engaged. Um, you're always helping other people, especially when they have like many chat issues or questions about um, like anything about Bob. You're always there and like in the group, which is something I'm super appreciative of. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's for me, it's kind of a no brainer because with any course, it's like you get out of it what you put into it. And I'm super interested in bots and technology and just being kind of a first mover on those types of things. And if I'm just taking the course and doing the homework and not participating, that's basically what I'm going to get out of it. And for me, you know, part of the reason that I joined, I'd say like 80 to 90% of the reason that I joined was for the community aspect and the networking potential. So mm. that's, that's where my motivation lies in it is that I want to, you know, I want to do more than just learn it. I want to be in that community and, and kind of help, help spread the, the, yeah. you know, excitement. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And the community is going to grow more and more as we get more students, but just on the surface, like what is, what is your experience like? What has your experience been like with the community? Has it been helpful? Was it worth the money? You know, the investment you paid for the course? Absolutely, hands down. I I I probably got the investment back. You know, just the first before the course even started, like when we were all <laughs> networking. And I mean, uh, you know, yeah, you have to. I mean, you have to go through the whole thing. You can't just do you know one week and and then not not do any more. But mm -hmm. um. But yeah, I mean, I think, and like I said, for me, that's just kind of my attitude about things in general. It's like, I'm going to get out of it what I put in it. So the more interactive I can be and the more relationships I can build, the more, the better the experience is going to be and the better that investment is going to be. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't know monetarily what the payoff is going to be, but that's not even really what it's about either. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And someone might what, might be watching this and wondering, like, how did you get the investment back before the course even started? What, what, what does that mean? <laughs> well, I don't know. I, <laughs> Andrew might be, might have been annoyed with me, but I did, I, I just kind of sent a lot of questions back and forth. But that's, that's one of the things that I really liked about his approach was that it was very personal. And I was one of the first people that he talked to, I think, before he started the course. And I was just, um, really, I emailed him a lot and just asked questions and he was very responsive and, um, and just, you know, I felt like I already kind of had a relationship started before, before we even got going. Yeah, definitely. So what, what is your, uh, so tell us more about your experience with Andrew. Um, it seems like you guys have been talking a lot, um, and he's been teaching most of the, the whole course. Um, what do you think about him as an instructor, as a, you know, uh, as yeah. a as creator yeah absolutely i he's so approachable um and and that's and i actually had met him when he spoke in at the converted 2016 conference about bots that's where my i first found out about them and i talked to him after his speech one you know one of the sessions and um yeah and he's just very approachable and you, you sometimes you know, there's people who have large followings and all you hear is their podcast and you kind of feel like, oh, there's this little, you know, they're an internet celebrity and, and well, they would never pay attention to me or anything like that. But yeah. that's, you know, that's not him at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, he, he's, yeah, he's, it's been great. He's been great to work with. He's a busy awesome. guy, but he's, yeah, he makes time for that's Awesome. I'm, I'm glad to hear that he's approachable. Tell us more about, um, about him as an instructor. Like, do you think he explained the courses really well? Do you think he like missed some parts that you would have hoped that, man, Andrew, if only you added this or you did this to improve it. Um, what, what has your experience been yeah. like with, with him? Yeah, definitely. So I'm a tech person. And so the, the tech pieces of it were less important for me because I tinker with stuff, but I was also surprised to hear that, that I feel like he and I think a lot alike in the way that we kind of approached things. So I found his videos to be super easy to follow. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't feel like there was anything left out. Um, I definitely am excited to see now that, you know, the first, the, the four modules 
were technical in nature, but then also very strategic in how we should be thinking about, um, you know, messaging and, and that sort of thing. But I think the, the business side of things and learning how to build this bot business is, is going to come through the relationships. So I'm excited to see where it goes from now on. I kind of feel like the first four weeks wouldn't have been enough. If we stopped after the four weeks and, you know, okay, now go. I think, I, I feel like the, the time from now on is, is what's most important. No, definitely. Um, cool. Uh, I'm curious now, going through these four weeks so far, and uh, we're still going on for sure. Uh, I want to ask you, like, what, is, what is one of the one or two of the biggest things you took away from this, from this course? For me, it's a, it's a lot of um, learning about myself. I, I don't take a lot of courses, but when I do, I try to, you know, really be sure that I clear up my schedule and invest in it so that I can get my return, you know, a return on it, not just monetarily, but personally. So I feel like for me, it's been a lot of, um, I almost want to say like self-control in realizing how obsessed I've kind of become with bots because they're, they're so amazing, but being like able to sort of keep my calm, like, okay, well, if this is meant to happen, then it will. And I know I'm obsessed with this, but I have to get other work done too. Um, <laughs> and run my, my, my existing business on top of this course. So I think it's been that practice. Number one has been amazing. Um, and number two, I just, the network, the network of people, I think, you know, these are people that we've spent four weeks, four intense weeks together, but yet I feel like I've had some of you guys as friends for months. No. Yeah. I feel like I'm <laughs> to you and I like, I even considered um, texting you when I was in Minneapolis. So it's kind of like, that's kind of yeah. crazy. I guess met you a month yeah, ago. Exactly. And given, you know, I know it was a short layover, but given the time I would have totally been out <laughs> there and meeting you at the airport. So that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, the second to last question I have is, what do you, what do you think about the, the pacing? Because um, in this, typically online courses are self-paced. Um, they run on their own schedule. But here we had assignments due every week. Um, we, had, we had motivated each other to finish all the assignments and give reviews on each homework, kind of like college. Um, what, what did you think about that? Did you like it? Did you not like it? For me, it was, yes, it's important that it was paced because I'm running another business. And so I have taken courses that weren't live, so to speak, and it was a self-paced kind of thing. And, and it took me three times as long to complete them. And I think, especially given this topic, we have to be on top of the, the trend. And um, so for me, I needed that. It was very intense, and I think if I didn't have such an interest in it, I probably wouldn't have taken a live course right now. Yeah. Um, but it just felt like the right opportunity at the right time. And I don't know if you've read um, Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers. Yep. You know, he talks about sometimes that's that's all it takes for success is just being in the right place at the right time. So I kind of that's what it felt like to me. Definitely. And speaking of success, and feel free, you don't have to share if you don't want to, but um, would you open to sharing like how many clients you're working with, any of the prices or any of the deals that you agreements you came up with those clients? Yeah, definitely. So I'm still trying to close my first client, but I'm not worried about it because, um, I've got a lot of other things that are sort of coming to fruition because of this course. Um, I've got, I mean, I've got several appointments booked with people to do a walkthrough with bots. I've sent out a couple proposals. Um, my, my very first project that I'm hoping to kind of actually secure, it's, it's pretty likely to happen, but it, you know, we don't have a contract sign yet. That one will probably be in the like 1500 to $2,000 neighborhood. And then nice. like a two to $300 a month, uh, maintenance type of plan. Nice. Um, and that's, that's kind of the general price point that I'm going to try and stick around. Now, some clients are going to require more than that because they'll have more complex funnels and, you know, different things. So, so there'll be a little bit higher price point. Some people might be a little bit less than that because they just have something super simple to set up. Um, but so, the, so the reason I'm not worried so much about like securing that first client is because I'm also reaching out to a lot of people 
and trying to do some of my own content marketing on bots and I want to try to do some speaking engagements. So um, I've reached out to several local conferences. I'm in Minneapolis and the, the technology um, vibe here is really, is really awesome. And there's a lot of entrepreneurial companies here. And so I think there's a lot of opportunities for some local speaking engagements. I think I've got three or four right now that I'm on their radar yeah. and we're just kind of working through the details of that. Um, and so I just, I just feel like the more content marketing I can do for myself and speaking and talking to existing clients and, and just being online talking about it, the, the leads will come, the projects will come. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. And I guess just to wrap this up, um, if someone's listening to this right now and, and thinking like, Oh, I kind of want to join the program. It sounds cool, but uh, I have some doubt here and there. Would you say, would you want to say anything to that person who who's on the fence? Someone who's on the fence, um, I would definitely recommend that they ask either you or Andrew. Oh, and by the way, I haven't said how awesome you are. <laughs> I know I've told you personally, but but everybody watching should definitely hear that. Tam is, um, you know, when Andrew actually first said that he was going to have someone else pretty much running the course, I was kind of like, oh, shoot, I hope. I hope Andrew's going to be visible and he is very visible in the course, but I didn't, what I didn't realize is how awesome you would be and, and how much that has made a difference in the course as well. Um, anyways, I sidetracked there. I'm sorry. Um, no, if someone was on the fence, I think they would, they should definitely ask you or Andrew to introduce them to someone who's taken it and just talk to somebody because I think, I mean, everybody is, everybody's different and, and there's not a one size fits all. So I know that some people, it might not be right for them. And I think if, if you don't plan on offering bots as a service in your business, it might not be right. And that's, that's okay. Mm -hmm. But I think talking, talking to somebody who's been through it could definitely help, you know, yeah. figure out if it's right. Awesome. Well, Kelly, thank you so much. You are welcome.